What is really fascinating is the lemon running with the courgette, the freshness of it and the sweetness of it that works beautifully well with the dish. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, stop. Your time's up. All of you, stop. That's so hard, isn't it? To secure his place in finals week, Luke has cooked butter poached lobster on a celeriac fondant. A crispy lobster and prawn wonton and celeriac puree. Finished with caviar and coriander cress. Served with a lemongrass lobster bisque. The lobster is nicely cooked, and then you've got this celeric fondant underneath. It's nice, but maybe just a touch more cooking for me. The wonton, wonderful, crispy, it's got some texture to it. Very simple dish, but tasty. I really like the dish a lot. I think the sauce is knockout. The lovely, subtle touch of the lemongrass just sitting in the background gives this sauce energy. It's a good dish, Luke. I like it. I really do. I really like your style. Those Asian flavours creeping into European technique, I think is a great idea. I have a problem. Your celeriac puree is really salty. Your celeriac fondant is salty. You add salty caviar onto that as well. I find it all a little too salty. For dessert, Luke has made a buttermilk and lime leaf panna cotta wild strawberry jelly, and wild strawberries in sake, a matcha tea twill, and a strawberry and mint sorbet. Look at the vibrant deep red and that lovely sharp lime green on the top crowning it. I think it's beautiful. texture of the panna cotta is just right, followed by the right texture of the jelly that you have on top. It's so refreshing. I've really enjoyed this. I love the little acidity of the buttermilk and the lime leaf flavour just runs through. It's very gentle. But what's interesting is the matcha tea twills. They bring almost a little bit of bitterness to the plate. The downside for me is there's a little bit too much bitterness on my palate now. Absolutely love the strawberry sorbet. I think the sake gives bitterness, and I've got bitterness in those lovely green twills as well. I have one slight disappointment. I would like to taste more of that sublime lime leaf in that buttermilk panna cotta. I think that is divine. I think they like both dishes. They said a few things they didn't like. You know, still fingers crossed, I don't know yet. Epic comments. It must be happy with that. It must be happy with comments. Yeah. Ollie's main course is hoggart, topped with crispy seaweed, caramel glazed sweetbreads, seaweed cooked potatoes with toasted hazelnuts, charred aubergine and anchovy puree, rapeseed yogurt and sea sandwort, finished with a smoked oyster sauce. I think that's rather beautiful. I really like that. Your hog gets cooked beautifully. I love the oyster sauce, but then I've got aubergine, and I can clearly taste aubergine, and then I've got a sour finish of lemon. There's nothing I dislike in here. It's just so unusual. I've never tasted flavour combinations like it. Ollie, yeah, I'm going to tell you I love it. Mm. I, I love how it looks and love everything you've put on this plate. The aubergine, you've put the saltiness of anchovy through it. It tastes... Delicious. I have really enjoyed discovering this, <laughs> the sea sandwort. I've never tried that before, and it's very light and salty. I think it's a great plate of food. It really speaks volumes of your style of cooking, and you're refining it in such a way that I'm impressed. From a flavour point of view, hog it with an oyster sauce. It's like you think, really? 
my goodness me, it, it really does work. The hockey's got a really nice boldness to it, and I think it sits very well on this plate. The potatoes bring a lovely neutral element to the dish, nice and fresh. I love the aubergine puree. It's as black as charcoal. I I'll be honest with you, Ollie, there's nothing on this plate that I don't like. I think that's absolutely sensational. It's incredible, thank you. For dessert, Ollie has made a fig leaf custard, rye flapjack, mead poached gooseberries, finished with a buttermilk foam and an elderflower granita. That fig leaf custard is amazing. You said it would taste like coconut, and that's exactly what it tastes like, a mellow, mellow coconut. I love the elderflower granita. They're the things I want to keep getting. I'm not sure at all about the buttermilk being so sour and those gooseberries being so sharp. I really like this fig custard, but it needs to be a bit more set for me. I like sharp desserts, so I, I like the sharpness of the gooseberry. I like the sharpness of the bottom milk, but there's too much of it. It's intriguing, I have to say. What's missing in your custard is a little bit of a setting agent to bring it almost a touch like a panna cotta, because what's happening with your dessert is everything's getting mixed together. There's so many flavour combinations, but they're all fighting and battling against each other. Yeah, got some great comments on the first dish, and yeah, not so much on the second, so I'm not, not feeling confident at all, no. <laughs> Finally, Matthew has cooked lamb loin and confit rib. A courgette flour filled with goat's cheese, mint and lemon. Courgette with confit lemon. And courgette and basil puree. Served with pomme boulangère and a lamb sauce. I've seen this presentation from you before and I love it. It's so confident. The lamb is lovely and pink. For me, there's just a touch too much fat left on it, but it is delicious. Your sauce looks a bit strange, but you've whisked the fat through it, so it's given it this pale colour, but it is very rich actually when you eat it. Loving it with this courgette with a bit of the lemon confit. So a little bit of sharpness coming through. So delicious. That may be the strongest basil flavour I've ever had in that green puree. You've got lovely salty cheese inside that courgette flour with a finish of lemon. You've got beautiful rosemary flavour on that rib. I really, really like it. The boulanger potato this, for me, is perfection. The lamb stock and the thyme running through, the little sweetness of the onion, perfectly cooked. That is sensational. Lamb is well cooked. Yep, I think we could say that the fat, the rendering could be rendered down a touch more. But what is really fascinating is the lemon running with the courgette, the freshness of it and the sweetness of it that works beautifully well with the dish. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. For dessert, Matthew has created a chocolate hazelnut sphere filled with a chocolate sauce, with passion fruit cream and passion fruit, a chocolate crumble, toasted hazelnuts, praline powder, chocolate popping candy, and yogurt crisps. It looks fun, it looks pretty. I can't wait to see what's inside the sphere. That sphere is beautifully made. And it's so clever to have a little bit of salt in there, chocolate crumb, and popping candy as well. You're getting beautiful surprises. Perfectly balanced dish. I like the passion fruit cream because it brings the freshness to the plate. The hazelnut flavour, the crumble works incredibly well. It's a very accomplished dessert in its presentation and in its eating. I like it a lot. It's just delightful. So much skill has gone into it. Getting all the textures right, the flavours, the hazelnut being the, the key one that I can taste with the chocolate, and then the passion fruit, a bit of sharpness uh, in there. 
Lovely, lovely. I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm so happy that they like the food. Congratulations. What a relief. <laughs>